have you ever wondered when you look at the map? It seems like some continents fit together perfectly, like some sort of puzzle pieces. Well, you are not seeing things. Some continents look exactly like puzzle pieces that can be fitted together. Scientists suspected that they were once all connected to each other. In the early 20th century, a scientist named Alfred Wegener called the supercontinent Pangea. He thought different chunks of it broke off and slowly moved apart. Over millions of years, they formed the continents we know of today. But what caused those movements? The answer lies in a scientific theory called plate tectonics. Plate tectonics is a scientific theory that explains how major landforms are created as a result of Earth's subterranean movements. Miles below our ground is a raging inferno. The deeper you go, the hotter it gets. The Earth's core is very hot, and all that energy wants to escape like steam from a boiling water. Putting immense pressure on the Earth's mantle and lithosphere that is cracked into large chunks of pieces called plates. Convection currents are driving the mantle and is taking the plates to the right, and that movement is called plate tectonics. Heated materials rises from deep inside the mantle while cooler mantle material sinks, which creates convection currents. The plates move very, very slow. You would not notice it at all. But sometimes, Mother Earth shows us a bit of her powers. Yup! Earthquakes, seismic activities are greatest along plate borders. In convergent, divergent, and transform boundaries that also drives up volcanic activities. For example, the Pacific Ring of Fire. More than 450 volcanoes are located in the Ring of Fire, caused by the amount of movement of tectonic plates in the area. Alfred Wittener was laughed at for his ideas. But a hundred years later, the plate tectonics is the unifying theory that ties all of the entire field of geology. Amazing, isn't it?